Good morning from our first full day in Madeira. We're starting the day a bit late. We'd woken up at 7 a.m. to see the sunrise from our balcony here and went back to sleep. Slept until like 11. It's because we only had two hours of sleep the day before, so I feel like that's warranted. Today's plan, we're just going to be chilling around this area of Ponta do Sol, I believe which means point of the sun. So initially, we're just going to be looking at some cool photography spots, like little archways and little hikes near the coast. And then I'm showing Heather my banana plantation nearby. It's gonna, it's gonna be, <laughs> gonna be a good time. Start the day with some weed to mix the, the British people on holiday. You see this? So, <laughs> so we're currently driving through the mountainside. It is just a lot of beautiful winding roads. Some of them are incredibly steep, which is really exciting. It's like you're riding a Disneyland ride, except you could not. But it's really, really fun. As a driver, honestly, it's, it's difficult, but very exhilarating, very worth it. So beautiful. So after driving through Ponte del Sol and doing the most amazing parallel parking through half of a tunnel up a hill I've ever done in my entire life, we've made it. Basically, I stopped by because I thought this just looked stunning. I, we were driving down this nice S road here and I saw this and went, wow, beautiful. We had a nice little church thing here. And then this just looks pretty. So just wanted to see what it looks like. Sometimes whenever I'm trying to take photos, especially if it's of portraits, I just love composition so much, so I focus too heavily on the background and not the person in front. So I'm trying to still make it look nice back there, but focus on us. So let's see. watching the waves for quite a bit of time. Heather and I have now stopped by a cute little restaurant side street place called something in Portuguese. <laughs> it's called the Old Pharmacy. It looks like it's a sandwich place, which is what we have ordered here. And we ordered pinchos because Heather and I have a pinchos problem. Salute. Salute. That's it in Spanish. It's sangria, so. Heather and I have just taken an incredibly long detour to a dead end because Google Maps was not your friend. It basically asked us to get to the small window, which is some really nice hiking spot, by climbing up what looks to be 25 stories and then just jumping off a cliff. That was the option. Uh, we decided not to jump off the cliff. So instead, we're hiking all the way back down this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area of Ponte do Sol. No regrets. Gonna get some big, big beefy quads in exchange. Okay, that actually was a little scary. All right, after exploring the small window, we finally got there. It was very quick. We had a small window to go meet up with our tour guide. Today, we're going to go do a tour of a banana plantation nearby in Ponte do Sol. I'm really excited. We've seen bananas all over the place, so it's gonna be cool to see how they grow, how they're sorted out. It's gonna be hard to plantain my con my excitement. Okay, I, I'm not, I blocked that. Let's, let's go. I'm sorry. The banana plantation Heather and I visited was a community-led one, sort of like an allotment, where a lot of different people grew bananas and mangoes whenever they wanted on their different plots of land, even though they're all interconnected. Though our tour guide taught us a lot about bananas and such, the most interesting fact being that banana trunks are really soft because they're just a combination of leaves, and that bananas are 
actually a type of berry, the most interesting stuff we learned was exactly what these little waterways were running all around the island. These are called lavadas, and they carry water all the way from the top of the mountain through different channels that can be turned on or off your land simply by damming up an intersection or not. Even these beautiful waterfalls you can see falling over the mountains were actually put there as part of the Levada system. I might make a main channel video about Levadas in the future as I just find them so interesting and we were going on a hike on one tomorrow. But now it was finally time to sample the freshest bananas known to man. I think these ones are apple, apple fruit. That's a banana. I would love to have a silver banana. They're quite small bananas. I definitely don't rank them gold. They're definitely a silver banana. It tastes like a banana. Oh, that's so much sweeter. But it's so much more flavor than a banana. But it's it's more banana flavored banana. <laughs> but these ones are very rare in Madeira. Hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try a gold banana, which is like the silver but drier. Obrigado. Scaling system. It's slimier. Mm. The texture is very strange. It's less sweet and more solid. Yeah. It tastes like when you let a banana go too long. No. It's yeah. Sweet than that. No me gusta. How do you describe that texture? Pudding. <laughs> it was so soft. We've uh, concluded our lovely banana plantation tour. Body full of a lot of bananas. And we decided to just watch the sunset and the waves rolling in, some people surfing. Same spot, Ponto de Sol. Really, 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 really beautiful day. Beautiful beginning, beautiful end. It's been a nice day. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to be waking up extra early to do a sunrise tour that we're doing ourselves. Not looking forward to waking up early for real this time. Thank you for staying in touch with the vlogs. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'm just talking to myself because I'm gonna watch these later and be like, yes, I did. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.